I got a fresh six to talk about, man. You know, I call it fresh six because they're freshly added to the collection. So I need you guys to stay right there. <clears throat> right at the intro, we're gonna jump right into this, okay? Back to doing another video. What's going on YouTube, it's your boy Sam Broom back and give another video. A fresh six to talk about, freshly added to the collection. We're gonna go right into it. But before we do, I need you to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. That's important, share the video, all right? Hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down button. I don't care which one you do, but hit either or, all right? Thumbs up or thumbs down and share the video, as I said before. Fresh six to talk about. Now. Forgive the scruff, man. I know I'm a little scruffy, but forgive me. All right, All right here we go. First up from the design house of United Colors of Benetton is what it's called. United Colors of Benetton. And they have a line called United Dreams. All right, United Dreams. And in that line, they have a bunch of different little, little sayings. This one here is go far. So United Dreams, go far. Now it has a little saying on here, it says, life doesn't happen in the slow lane. Let yourself go, live life to the fullest, and go far. That's that little saying right there, okay? All right, another thing I forgot to tell you guys. Now I've been suffering from some, some really bad congestion of the sinuses, it's been draining, I've been like coughing up mucus. I know that's kind of like nasty or whatever, but <clears throat> I'm still trying to get over this little thing. So I got some juice right here, some ginger ale, as well as, you know, I might have to cough every now and then or pause and go off and cough. But anyway, from the United, Col United Colors of Benetton, this is United Dreams. Go far. Here's the box. All right. Let's open this up. And this is a 200 mil. It's a 200 mil bottle. There's a bottle right there. This is perfect size for someone that wants to have a bottle of cologne or leave a bottle of cologne at work in a um, office drawer or a locker. With me, we have a locker, so I can leave this in my locker. This will last me quite a long time, all right? 200 mils, that's the size you're looking at, and I got this for like nine bucks, okay? From Berlin Co. Factory. All right, let's go ahead and spray this. Plastic top, cheap little plastic top, all right? Let's see what the atomizer is about. Let me make sure the aperture is pointing the right way so I won't spray myself in the eye. Nice atomizer, look at that, strong. Yeah, all right, here we go. Oh, this is nice, man. This is nice. You might hear my wife, when I'm silent, you might hear my wife who is upstairs talking to one of her clients, but yeah, this is nice. Centron, C notes, it's aquatic. It's got that lime top to it, like a limey top with, and a citron. It also has some lavender and some cedar. This is a really nice, very, very office friendly scent, scent right here. Office safe. Not gonna offend anybody. Not sure how long the longevity um, the longevity on this thing, but I tell you what, with this size bottle, you can always reapply. Yeah, major notes, citron, C notes, lime, lavender, cedar. This was actually created in 2015. This is nice. Again, very office safe, all right? United Colors of Benetton, United Dreams, go far. I know it's a long, long name, but hey, it is what it is, all right? Next one, from the house or from the celebrity, Antonio Banderas. Now don't, don't turn away because I said Antonio Banderas, stick with me, because Antonio Banderas makes one of the best summer fragrances on the market in that seduction in blue. One of the best fragrances on the market for summertime for cheap price. Now this one, I had to grab it, you know, just to see what it's, I heard some people talking about it, said it was pretty good. So I had to get my nose on it. Again, from Antonio Banderas, this is Black in Seduction, or this box just says Black Seduction. 
but I think the real name of it is Black and Seduction. Again, this was produced in 2009. That's how long this fragrance is out. 2009, it's an amber spicy. All right, you got top notes of like black currant, bergamot, nutmeg, cardamom, and amber in the base. All right, so here's the box again. Nothing spectacular about the box. <clears throat> again, this is a 200 mil as well. So this is a 200 mil as well. There's that bottle again. Perfect size for your for your office or your um your locker. You can always reapply this because it's a hell of a lot of juice. So there you go. All right. And on this one, it just says again, Black Seduction by Antonio Banderas. I guess this might be the new bottles, right? In the new bottles, they took out the N, the N, the I N. So they took that out, and this is Black Seduction. All right. Let's see what this is all about. Atomizer, decent. Not as good as that uh, Benetton fragrance. That that atomizer is pretty strong. Oh, this is nice. This is sexy. I like a cheap, sexy fragrance, man, that you can wear on a date night. This would be perfect for your traveler, right? And if you're anything like me, I don't like to take any of my expensive fragrances on a trip. I either decant it or I bring something cheap. Um, but smells really good and high quality for the price. This is perfect for it because you got to be careful with TSA, man. They might not let you take certain fragrances, or they might take it from you. So you don't want to take a fragrance that's going that you're going to regret them taking. So be careful. So this is perfect for that. Very nice. It's light enough to be a summertime date fragrance, but strong enough also for winter, fall, and early spring. This has vibes of like a lighter version of Imani Cold. Um, I have a fragrance by Bath and Body Works called Noir. It's kind of like that as well. Very smooth, very sexy, very warm, cuddly. This is nice. This is nice. I definitely would say get your hands on this. I think he's under 30 bucks for this thing here. For 200 mils, under 30 bucks. That's a hell of a price. All right, let's go. Next one from one of my favorite cheapies or cheap houses, Saruti. All right, this is Saruti 1881 Signature. All right, released in 2017. This is a leather fragrance. All right, it's considered a leather fragrance. Top notes or major notes you get burnt, you get um, grapefruit, you get um, pepper, you get nutmeg, you get leather vetiver and amber in the base all right here's the box all right i gotta stop putting my hands or this fragrance too close to the screen because it lightens it up i'm gonna show you I'll give you an example right now check this out watch this the closer i get the lighter my face gets on the screen it's kind of crazy it's bugged out check that out look at that <laughs> the magic of cameras okay here we go let's look at the bottle oh this is a dope bottle oh i like that matte black on the back side see-through glass but with that black in the, in the back it looks like the bottle is all black doesn't it but you got the signature right there and you got that 1881 on the back side all right plastic top as well get the atomizer there nice strong atomizer this is probably the best atomizer right now from the three that I have all right let's look at the let's oh that smells good oh that smells really good very very nice leather smell man Oh yeah, this is this is sexy too, man. This is bad boy sexy right here. Oh yeah, that leather is prominent. You get the grapefruit and the pepper, but you get that leather, man. That leather is nice and smooth, and it's got a sweetness from the amber. So this is really really nice, man. Now this one here, I've been trying to get my hands on this for quite a while. This goes in and out of stock, bro. In and out of stock. I think I pretty much have all the ones from the 1881 line except for Norte. Oh, this is nice. This is probably the best out of the out of the 1881s. Let me see. I have the original. I have Sport. They have an amber one, the two I think I've, I've seen before. They have an amber. But I have the original. I have Sport. I have Riviera. Essential. And now Signature. But I need Norte and that amber joint. And I should be all set. Oh, this is nice. 
kind of remind me of like John Valvado's Dark Rebel Rider. This is this is dope. Date nights, winter, fall, early spring. This can be somebody's signature scent for those that particular weather. This is dope. All right, 1881 signature. It's nice, man. It's nice. All right, we're gonna keep it moving, man. We, we, I'm trying to get this video under 20 minutes. Next one from the house of Lalita Lampica. All right, this is Green Lover. See that box there? Again, I'm trying not to put the box too close to the screen because I don't want it to lighten up. It's a nice box. A lot of green on this box. Little, little uh, creek there, little rolling creek. All right, a lot of green, a lot of green trees. All right, this, that's the box. Of it. So let's look at the bottle. Oh, this bottle is nice. Nice, nice lime green or mint green look to it. All right, and the juice looks kind of greenish, but the, gr the juice is probably yellow, but with that green tinted glass, it makes it look a little darker, a little green. All right, but there's the bottle there. It's got a different shape to the bottle. Got that kind of, that kind of con concave, the glass, where the glasses can, if you put, if you have two, they can stick together and makes one glass. That's kind of like what it, what it looks like. Green Lover. All right, this was released in 2019, I believe. It's an aromatic spicy. You get notes of like, Orange, gin, mint, juniper, and vanilla. All right. Don't seem like it's going to be a green fragrance, but let's see. All right. Let me uh, get a little makeshift scent strip. Oh, man. This is completely opposite from the name. Green lover is not what it is. Unless it dries down to something green, but this... This is gourmandish, man. This is more or less like a gourmand fragrance right here. It smells like a push-up. I don't know. I mean, I'm probably dating myself, but when I was a kid, there was an ice cream called push-ups. And basically what it was, it was like a orange sherbet ice cream in a little stick and you kind of push it up. This smells like that. Better yet. You ever had those orange sickle um, ice cream pops where it's orange, orange um, sherbet on the outside and the inside is vanilla ice cream. That's exactly what this is. This is good, man. It smells really, really good. I just don't understand the name though. Green Lover. This should be like orange sherbet or orange sickle. Should be the name of this fragrance. Something like that. Cause this is far from being Green Lover. But it smells good, bro. Oh my God, it smells good. The Lita Lambica Green Lover. This is a really, really nice smelling fragrance right here. Again, more of a gourmand fragrance than anything else. It's nothing like, like it, the name implies. It's not a green, green fragrance. It's more of a gourmand fragrance of orange sherbet and vanilla ice cream. There you go. Next one quickly becoming my favorite house. One of my favorite houses, because everybody know, man, me and Cartier, the, we wanted the same. Love Cartier. But anyway, we ain't talking about that. We're talking about this house right here, Trasadi, and this is Umo. Yep, Umo. I didn't have this. I had to go and get it. I like Umo Leviera so much that I bought a backup bottle. So I told myself that I need to get this Umo to see the difference between that one and this one here. So the one that I bought the backup bottle, the one with the Greyhound head, the Leviera collection. And this one, I gotta see if there's kind of sim some type of similarities. But here's a box, all right? Black with the Goyu, with the black with the gold lettering. All right, got that Dressati crest at the top, the Greyhounds. Let's open up this bottle, the box, and see what the bottle looks like. There's the bottle there, nice. Piano black with the gold, got the gold on the sides of it, got the gold cap to it, all right, with that crest on the top. Oh, this cap though does not stay on, it clicks on, listen, but it doesn't stay on. This, you cannot hold this by the cap, it will fall off. I would not, see that, I would not suggest holding this from the cap, the cap is weak as hell. 
it's heavy because it's metal, but it does not, whatever that inside, that insert is in there, it's not, it's not snug enough. It needs to be tighter or the direct diameter needs to be smaller so it can actually click on and be snug. All right. But anyway, there's the bottle there, nice piano black again with the gold. All right. Here's the atomizer. The aperture's pointing the right way. Nice atomizer. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Oh, it smells like an Italian boss, bro. I love that smell. That's just my smell there. Oh, yes, man. It kind of remind me of Van, uh, Van, Van Cleef and Arpels Pour On. It smells like that, man. It's so nice. That bergamot and violet top with the leather and the Amalfi orange, I mean, I said orange. The Amalfi lemon, the bergamot, the violet, the oak moss, the leather. Oh, I'm just, I don't want to say I'm a fanboy, but this particular scent captures me, man. That old school, I'm a, I'm a boss type of fragrance. That's what this, I mean, I love the way this smell, man. I don't know if anybody understand what I'm saying when it, when it comes to this fragrance right here. It's got that mature, well-established gentleman smell. That's what this is, man. Damn, this is good. Oh, I love this. I don't love, again, I gotta see what the difference is. I might have been duped. I might have bought the same fragrance that's in the Leveriere collection for more price than I would this, which is the exact same smell. It could be the same exact scent. I'm not sure, but this is good. Oh yeah. Yeah, you understand what I said? Trasadi Umo. All right. Let's keep it moving, man. I got one more to go. One more to go. And that will be it. All right. Lastly. Lastly. From the house of Givenchy. This is Givenchy, gentlemen. I had to complete the collection. I was sitting back thinking about it one day. And I'm like, damn, I got all of them now. Except for the original. Got to get the original. This was released in 2017. Oh, if I didn't say it before, that Trasadi Umo was released in 2011. There's another version that was produced earlier, like 2007, but this one was more or less 2011. This one here, this gentleman was was reintroduced in 2017. Again, it has older batches, all right? But this one, this new formulation was 2017. It's a woody aromatic. You get major notes of like pear, iris, lavender, cardamom, leather, and vanilla, all right? Now, this came to my mind one day I was watching Drink Champs, and Nori always, every now and then, he'll, he'll have his bottle of Creed and he'll spray it, Millicene Imperial. I actually sent him a message one day like, man, you're wasting a lot of money spraying that Millicene Imperial. Why don't you do, do yourself a favor, look into a moth and look into Milestone. All right, and spray that instead. Save yourself some dollars. But I know he has money, and you know that's something that he don't have to really worry about. But uh, I do like to see fellas, you know, save where they can. All right. But anyway, gentlemen, and the reason why I brought Nori up is because he said one time in one of his interviews that he used to spray Givenchy, gentlemen, or Givenchy, all the time, and I wasn't sure which one he was talking about. But I figured he was talking about this one because it would seem that he would like this type of fragrance or the gentleman line if he liked that Millicent Imperial for some reason. That was just a mind thought. I don't know. I just get this. All right. But anyway, Givenchy Gentleman, again, major notes, pear, iris, lavender, cardamom, leather, vanilla. Right. Let's see what I get here. All right. Atomizer and the aperture is going the right way. Nice, nice atomizer. Nice weight to the cap as well, too. Okay. Oh, that smells nice. 
that sounds really nice. I just wasted two sprays, but it's for you guys. Two sp wasted sprays for you. I didn't waste a lot of sprays just now on all those six fragrances and all the other fragrances I never even sp sprayed during these videos. But anyway, I do it for you. Oh yeah, this is nice. Yeah, man. Oh yeah, that iris is really, really nice. This is very easy to wear, man. This is a signature scent. This is definitely a signature scent. The sweetness from the pear, but you get the iris and the, and the violet. They complement each other well. You don't get too much iris or too much um, lavender. They're like very, very complementary to each other. It's like meeting each other evenly. And you get a little spiciness from, from the cardamom. Now, the leather is very, very light, very light. Now that it's drying down, you're getting that leather and you're getting the sweetness from the vanilla as well now. Yeah, this is nice, man. This is super nice. I like this. Givenchy Gentle. All right. Listen, that was another fresh six. I tried to be quick as possible. I'm at 22 plus minutes. I got to go. All right. I love that you guys are sticking around and watching these hard videos, man. And I appreciate it. All right. Until the next video, I got to say peace. Big and six, 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 six